Welcome to Burning Eyes Tech, guys. Today, we're going to be covering creating Teams device profiles, or as some people might know it, configuration profiles. Now, what the heck are these configuration profiles? Well, these things are actually going to make your life as the administrator a heck of a lot easier. They're going to basically make your workload a lot lighter. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where your company or your client's company has a lot of devices, especially if it's something like phones, are you really going to want to go to each and every device to go and configure it, especially when it comes to profiles? These profiles are all kinds of settings, like, for example, when does the screen saver go off? When does the phone lock itself? Should it have a pin or not? Should it be on DHCP or not? All kinds of nitty gritty settings regarding each phone. Are you really going to go to each and every device and go and configure that? Heck no, I'm not going to go and do that. I hope you guys are not because that's just suicide. So why not go and create yourself something called a configuration profile? This is what we're about to go and cover. And in this configuration profile, you can go and basically go and pre-configure a lot of these settings. You save it. And once you've saved it, every time you get yourself a new device, like a phone, you simply just go and assign or apply that specific configuration profile to that new phone. So you'll find the average company has about two or three different configuration profiles, but I suppose you can technically go up to 100 if you're crazy like that. So every time you get a new phone, maybe it's a phone in a sales department, you simply just go and apply or assign or deploy the sales department configuration profile. You can go make maybe one for IT, one for HR, or one for managers. It's up to you how many you want and how you want to go and arrange them and configure them. The point is, you can go and pre-configure phone settings or whatever these devices are. And whenever you get these new devices, you simply just go and assign these profiles. Okay, so we've explained what these configuration profiles actually are. Where or how do I go about configuring these things? In other words, where the fiddlesticks do I go to create these configuration profiles? Well, I'm sure a lot of you guys could have guessed this. This is obviously going to be on one of the admin centers. And I'm also sure you could have guessed that this is probably going to be on the Teams admin center. So allow me to show you guys on the portals how we go about configuring these and where you can go and do it. So here we are on the good old fashioned normal 365 portal. I'm going to first have to get to the main 365 admin portal. Now, like usual, if you don't see the gray admin tile at the bottom left, that might be because you don't have the right license or the right privilege. So I'm going to first start things off by clicking on the gray admin tile at the bottom left. And here we are on the main Microsoft 365 admin center. Like usual, again, I'm saying that like that because there's more than one admin center. If I were to go and expand this where it says show all, you'll see here at the bottom there's a section that says admin centers, plural, because there's more than one. And this list actually still doesn't even show us all of them. If I were to go click here where it says all admin centers, there we go. It shows you even more. And even though it says that's all the admin centers, that actually still isn't, isn't all of them. For example, you don't even see Skype for business here. So the one we're looking for right now is the one that says Teams. So go ahead and click on that. Here we are on the Teams admin center. Now what we're looking for is the devices section because we're about to go and configure a device profile or a configuration profile. It's actually more commonly a configuration profile for devices. So I'm going to go here to the top left and expand devices. Now in the past, this used to be called phones. I've seen lately it says IP phones. So if you're familiar with this being phones, it's just because Microsoft went and changed this again. I believe also in the past, there wasn't as many tabs. Now for some reason, Microsoft went and added a whole bunch of tabs, probably because they gave us a whole bunch of extra functionalities. Teams rooms is just another topic we're going to be covering in this course, by the way. So I'm going to go here to IP phones and you'll notice there's all kinds of tabs here regarding our IP phones. The one we're looking for specifically today is the one that says configuration profiles. It's the tab way on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And if I scroll down here, you'll see we have the ability to go and add a configuration profile. Now by default, there's going to be none. As you can see, I've got none because this is the default. So I'm going to start things off by clicking on that and giving ourselves a new configuration profile. All right, and this is where we configure configuration profiles. This is obviously my first one. It's kind of my only one at this point in time. So if you have a need for multiple configurations in your company for different types of phones and different types of devices, instead of having to go to each and every phone in your company and to go and configure them differently, why not just create yourself a configuration profile or two or three? And whenever you've got a new phone or whatever the device might be, simply just assign that configuration profile. Isn't that going to make your life easier? So here you can see you can go and configure things regarding general, 
device settings, network settings. So for the most part, I'm going to leave this on the default. This is just to show you guys where you can go and do it. For example, if I want my screen to time out quicker or later, I can do that here. Device pin can be changed. Language is probably going to be in English in most countries. You can go put the device's date in here. I'm not going to do that because this is not an actual device. Screen saver timeout. I mean, I think the default is 30 seconds. I don't normally like 30 seconds. So I'm just going to choose one minute. Um, I'll be honest. I actually thought I was going to have to type that in there. It seems like it's a drop down list of some kind. Uh, it should be okay. Office hours is between 8 and 5 in the morning. So you might find it's going to block you from using this device outside of those hours. Network settings. In most companies, these devices are on DHCP. If this is something like a VoIP phone, the chances are it's also connected to a PoE switch in most cases. Logging. No, we don't want to log it. Password is usually blank. Well, that's a very security, big security risk. So I'm just going to go and make this burning ice tick at 123. There we go. And is there anything else I would like to go and configure? No, not at this time. Oh, I forgot to put in a name. That's probably a good start. Burning ice tick corp HQ. Here we go. I've given my configuration profile a name, a short description there. So this is going to be my first configuration profile. This is obviously just a fake one. I'm just fooling around. But that's essentially how you would go about creating yourself a configuration profile. So now it's simply just a matter of repeating this and just changing some settings. So if you've got different devices in your company, it'll have different settings than what we've just done here. You simply just go and change it and just go and create yourself a new one. Create yourself a new configuration profile, change the settings that needs to be changed. Save it and there, be, there you go, be on your merry way. So let's just save this and there we go. Today's video is a short and quick one, just explaining exactly what a configuration profile is or a device profile as some of you guys might know it. So a configuration profile is something you would go and configure to help make your life as the administrator easier if you've got a lot of devices that you're looking after and a lot of devices you need to go and configure quite regularly. So instead of having to go to each and every device and having to configure it manually yourself every time there's a new one, why not just go and create yourself a configuration profile? It's basically a list of pre-configured settings. And every time you get a new device, you simply just go and allocate or assign one of your pre-configured configuration profiles. You might just have one in your company. You might have 10. You might have 100. I find it doubtful that you're going to have more than 5 or 10 in your company. The average company has about 2 or 3 in most cases. But in a nutshell, this is going to make your life as the administrator a lot easier. It's going to make your life quicker. So now every time it's a new device, you simply just go and assign the relevant configuration profile. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. So this configuration profiles or device profiles, as you guys would call it, is definitely going to be in the exam. So it's very important to understand what this is and how it works. Whether you use it in your company or not, it's something that you need to know for the exam. All right, so this has been a quick and short video. I hope it's been informative. If it has, please give it a like. Maybe consider subscribing. Otherwise, you will not know when I upload a new video for this series or any other series that I make for that matter. And I'll see you guys on the next one on episode 12. Bye, guys. Mm-hmm.